starting now. Hey, so we're talking with Klaus. How's it going, Klaus? Good. I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> I am doing okay. It's good to see you. So Klaus, you started the, you told me just now, I didn't know that you started the uh, Facebook group uh, back when, yeah, when there, there wasn't one, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So like I, like, like I told you, yeah, I was like, this is great content and I want to not only consume the content, but also bounce off ideas of the tribe, which is probably right. my play energy. Right. And yeah, so I, I wrote uh, Dave and Shannon an email and asked um, for permission, I guess. Um, and they said, yeah. Cool. Awesome. We don't want to get involved, but <laughs> feel free to do so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And on it, your own. <laughs> no, it's, I really like that about the, about them that they're like, they want the community to take off on its own. They don't want to be the leaders. They want like something to go and just be. <laughs> so yeah, it's yes. really cool that you help that along a little bit. That's really cool. So, okay. So let's talk about, um, uh, before we talk about your type, let's talk about your history with typology. Like where did you get into typology? Uh, sure. So I came across this uh, Myers Briggs in 2014, summer 2014, um, okay. and that was after a breakup. So I don't think it was a coincidence. <laughs> I think I think it was. I, I mean, fate. Is, yeah. I, I saw it as fate back then. Like you're um, looking to understand the reasons for the breakup, I guess maybe. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It was quite tra quite traumatic, and I actually yeah, it took me like I don't know five or six months to really make sense of the breakup. And oh, wow. I, could, I could basically understand why I totally freaked out and everything made sense in, in, in a way. And Today you could yeah, understand. So, you mean. Yes. Okay. So then, so then you got into what, uh, Myers-Briggs or something at the beginning? And... Yes. So yeah, I, can't, I don't remember how exactly I got into it, but I Googled, I, well, I don't know how, maybe I came across a test or something. Yeah, so 16 personalities was the first test I did. Right, yeah, I think yeah. that's similar for many. I saw the talk you did with Jonathan. Yeah, right, he, yeah, yeah. He yeah. said the same. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, and then I just consumed for six months, I think I consumed every day the stuff. and Cool. Cognitive so, functions yeah, I just wanted everything. to say yeah. Klaus is in Germany, by the way, just in case you're wondering what that German accent was. It's a German accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yes. Okay. And then the, how long have you been in the uh, Dave Superpowers class and all that kind of stuff? And how did you discover it? And Yeah. So maybe we can do it chronologically. Right. I, I noticed right. my masculine sensor. Yeah, so, yeah, for yeah, sure. So I, I consumed this stuff and then, yeah, like consumed mostly on the internet, um, all the information I could find. And um, then in, oh my, uh, two years ago, I did... Um, the profiler training course by personality hacker so that's a year-long course um, wow. okay on on the cognitive functions and everything and basically being able to to profile people and i got certified with them in september 2017 yes wow that's awesome so is, is and, that useful yes. for you did you use it yes yes so i, I used it a, I, I basically wanted to found like a company in germany but now with this new knowledge coming in, I'm a bit hesitant. So I I, I profiled a lot of people in Germany already. Um, go for I it, man. Bring, go for it. You got the certification, I, and you could do whatever you I, want with your certification now. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I want to bring this knowledge to Germany, but now that yeah, there's so many new information still coming in, so it's still well, it's always like that for consume first or consume savior. Yeah, savior, yeah. So yeah, so wanna... we're jumping ahead with your type. So yeah. yes. <laughs> Okay. Yes, so, <laughs> but you didn't think um, you were yeah. you didn't think you were this type before. You thought you were a different type. Yes. So um, I thought. Well, I think I still um, identify most with INTJ in in the Myers Briggs. INTJ. Um, okay. Um, typology system, but I see uh, how I am an ISTP in the objective personality system. And um, can you see this? My work. Yes, yes, okay. I can see it. Yes. Can you see my mouse too, like this thing with hand on the INTJ? Yes. All right. So you thought you were over yes. here in the INTJ? Yes. But okay. yeah, I mean, I'm clearly not um, in OP land because I'm definitely not uh, tribe above self. I'm certainly self above tribe. So I cannot right. be an INTJ in the OP um, world. So, right. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Yes. And so, and so then you were the nine TJ when you joined OP or am yes. I jumping ahead yeah. too far here? No, I mean, that's what I, well, I, I knew that um, definition wise that I couldn't be an INTJ. Um, Based on the functions. I, yeah, not an I, N-I-T-E INTJ. I thought I would right. be an, an, an N-I-F-I sleep INTJ, but um, yeah. Oh, like Turned Dave out. sort of thing. Okay. Turned, yeah, which many people think they say so <laughs> yeah i don't know but yeah ultimately i turned out to be t-i-s-e um where is it yes when you got typed when you got typed yeah. with dave and shannon yes okay exactly yes. okay so which was cool which was quite traumatic but yeah i think that's if you if you're if you don't get ashamed by your type it's probably wrong so <laughs> well so yeah so yeah um and i see most think of that's it accurate? Right now. yes um okay 90%, but that's probably as good as it gets with masculine TI, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yes. Okay, so so classic ISTP then in Myers-Briggs. Um, right. Yes, well, that's the problem. I don't, I mean, well, most of the people, no, most of the classical ISTP in Myers-Briggs, I don't see many similarities with them for me. Because, so, so you have you have sleep second? Right. Yes. So you will. You're yes. spending, and your identity, your inner identity, will be an NT inner identity, and so that's probably why you see that, right? Exactly. Yes. So yeah, I, 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 I think that's a pretty cool inner identity. That's kind of what I think I have, but we'll talk about that at a, in a different video. <laughs> but yeah. So how, how how is TI for you then? How how do you experience TI? Um. <laughs> Well, uh, I already touched on that a bit with the 90% statement, I guess. So Right, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's it's like, <coughs> it's like um, yeah, I, I guess an inner world of making sense of things constantly and right. trying to, yeah. Um, in my in my typing video, um, I think Shannon mentioned I could, could have ma making sense of things typed on my forehead. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, so, right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So reason, 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 reason. <laughs> right. That's the, that's the form, ST. So the the ST yes. is finding reasons for things outside, externally, right? Yes. Um, right. But and and so the TI things. is your thoughts. Like you have thoughts. When when you see things, you you're aware of your thoughts, and your thoughts yes. are deep, and you can see them, you can observe them. Like that's that's yes. who you are, right? Yes. Yeah, identifying blocks together constantly. Banging blocks. And, okay, and then so let's. So what? What's SE then as your second function? Um, that's also again masculine. Um, yeah. So that's just wanting to take a new, 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 um, okay. uh, new everything. So it's. Right. Um, I mean, SE is mostly about facts, but I think I just take in stuff from so many different fields i mean i'm i always said um i'm interested in everything so i studied journalism and it was um, for economics and politics but i also am I'm so much into arts especially music so i listen to right. probably 20 new songs every day um, so you have, you have a masculine so, your masculine se makes you audio is that accurate yes right okay and, and that's probably where the music comes in, yes. Right. That's a very important part for me. And so masculine yeah. saviors, you're very sturdy and solid in your, your, in your saviors then. Yes. And then you're like cat-like and bitchy in your, <laughs> in your yeah, you can, demons. <laughs> you can, you can, you can uh, fuck with me, but there's like, once you cross the line, then it won't be a long fight, but <laughs> yeah, it will be like, um, ah, I forgot about how I described it before, but yeah, cat energy is a good analogy. Right. Okay. <laughs> I will just destroy everything and then move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess it's the first step to <laughs> first step to fixing things is knowing what the problems are. I guess right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So so your SE like you you see things clearly and accurately based on an objective uh, real world is how you you take information in before you process it and then you're you're constantly trying to process this new real um information like just factual information 
And so what are you comparing it to? You're comparing it to other facts or you're comparing it to your, your uh, intuition? Um, that reminds me, yesterday I saw an interview with Jordan Peterson and he described it like you have, well, you have on the left side of, of the brain, you have the S and T and then on the right side, there's um, like this pattern recognition. So right. the way I understood it, I would, I would have my facts on my, my map basically, and that would get updated with um, seeing new possibilities and making sense of new patterns coming in. Um, that sounds like any, that, that's, that sounds a lot like any new patterns and things. Yeah, although, yes, although, yeah, and I as well. So, and I narrows really? down on, so I, I, I would describe it as seeing, um, so, so taking these facts in via SE and then trying to update them with a focus, focused NI um, perceptual view. Um, right. Narrowing down all this. So basically taking in too much, I'm taking in too much clearly. I mean, I'm consuming probably, I don't know, six to eight hours every day. Okay. Um, and then taking all this in, but that's too much. You have to narrow down. Yeah. And that's where, yeah. where, where it feels where like, it in. feels like that for me too, where like, you're just, you're just taking in all this information. And then at the end of the day, you want to extract the important parts and you want to narrow down those important parts and, and figure out the general pattern and things. And then just remember that. And once you got that, you're like, I don't need anything else. This will just apply to everything. Yeah. Yes. And that's my struggle because, um, that's one of the reasons I'm so slow with starting things because there's still new information coming in. I mean, OP is a perfect example. Right. I started on my journey of the, um, typing people in Germany and now I'm really confused because there's OP knowledge and there's MBTI knowledge and it's hard. I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm rather good with seeing them like being different systems and you can't like really bang them together. That's probably really? Fem wow. feminine and e coming uh, feminine and i coming in because i'm fine with not being able to resolve the two systems into one you're fine with that and okay All yes right. i'm fine with that but it's still confusing of course so it's hard for me it was especially at the beginning it was very hard for me to to do these uh, long typing sessions with people and in the back of my mind is all this new op knowledge but at the, like there's mbti and op and it's it's hard <laughs> Right. Yeah. So I'm, so I'm supposed to be interviewing here. You like, sorry, I'm supposed to be interviewing you here, but I mean, I, I just want to step in and say for me, it's, it's pretty much the opposite. It's like, I, there's only one thing that's true here and I got to figure out what the truth is. And, and maybe there's some truth in the OP and maybe there's some in the MBTI and maybe you have to merge them. Maybe you have to throw out a, bu a bunch of it away, but I think in the end they have to converge into some for form of a uh, true system. And so mm -hmm. maybe that's why you just feel like you need to keep learning because you haven't resolved it yet. Yes. Or yeah. maybe it's not possible to resolve. I right. mean, that would be interesting if you, I don't know if you get t um, typed as masculine and I, there's, okay. there's a bigger need, I think, to bring all this together. Um, I have a good friend. We have like, <laughs> we make fun about this um, a lot because she has masculine and I, and okay. she just urgently wants to just bang these two systems together and wants them to fit. And right. that's not possible. And we have like once a week, we talk about <laughs> how it's not possible to reconcile the two. So, um, so what makes it not possible? Like what, what contradicts in the two systems? Um, well, I think it's a, a problem of definitions or not a pro Well, it's, I mean, the great thing about OP is that there actually are definitions. <laughs> so I think the, the problem with MBTI is there are no clear definitions. And even if there were clear definitions, then it would still be, it wouldn't be the same as OP. So if you have different definitions for terms, then you can't really fit the two systems together. Right. Uh, yeah. You can, okay. you can see what, what's similar and what's different, but it will be very difficult to come up with a, right. so, a combination of the two. So for, for me, I, I feel like I have sleep first. And what it's like to have sleep first is um, you have um, holes in your knowledge when you're sleeping and you're trying to figure things out. And then there's like missing parts. And so then you need to go out and consume those missing parts. And so what it did for me was it forced me to go back and read Young, like Young's original definitions. And then that's what I'm just taking as the definitions for everything. And that like really helped me um, make one standard definition for everything. But yeah. I, I see what you mean. Yeah, the two systems. Yeah, maybe it's the other way around for me. Yeah, right. I, I still want to take it more, 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 and then then my right. sleep energy comes in and. Cool. Well, good luck with that, man. Okay, so you have sleep second. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then after that, you have play at the end. 
I think so. Yes, I'm still right. I'm still not entirely sure. But, but David yeah, Tennant um, put you as play, yes. play third. Okay. Play third, yes. All yes. right, and then we we spoke about those masculine and feminine. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so then how does that? Okay, how does your FE come in? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the big problem. So my FE is feminine, and I and it's not not activated because as, as sleep is second, my NI is right. activated, and it's just like it's so far away from everything else. Let's say. Yeah. So that makes sense a lot because so I feel like I mean. Um, the company I started or the typing I started, I named it alien typology because I feel right, okay. like yeah, alien I saw that on your profile. Well. Okay. Um, and yeah, I, I felt a bit like an alien, which is I think an IP thing in general, but yeah. it's also, I think it's even more so if, if FE is not activated. Um, right. So yeah, you so, only have it activated through your play. That's the only way you can access it, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. And um, and on top of it, it's feminine, so I really don't want to tell people what to do. Um, right. I really don't like it. I mean, luckily, um, I had a kind of a career and could practice that a bit, but it's it was really exhausting, and I decided to just... Right. Um, so I, I feel the same way that I don't like to tell people what to do either. I just hate it. But I, I'm not sure. I thought I was a masculine FE, but I could be feminine now that I that, you know, you're saying it. I'll, I'll get my type uh, in, in a week, so... We'll Oh yeah. yeah, looking forward yeah. to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's yeah. So I really relate with that. That like you just don't want to tell people what to do, but yeah. No, and, and that's me, really it's, yeah. It's hard for me also in like social situations, one on one, I've got no problem. But like once you get into like large groups, it's like keeping track of so many different people, and that just drives me nuts. For me, that's really hard. For you too. Oh, I. Yeah. I, I normally I, I love um, in German there's the word Zweisamkeit, which means like um, like just being together with another person. I love that word because you can share so much more depth with a person if you're just one on one. Right. Three, yeah. three, three people is probably okay. Four four it's already like you have group dynamics. Everyone wants to impress right. everyone. And right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's so <laughs> difficult. It's like and that freaks me out a lot when people that. I had a really good friend and he was like, <coughs> we, we, we were really, he was, it was so great when we were together, but um, as soon as we were in a group of three or four people, he would just be a different person. A different person, and, yeah. Uh, it made me crazy because I noticed he just acts, it's just pure acting. And like, oh. Right, yeah. One of the things that really drives me nuts too is if you're having a conversation and there's another person and then uh, um, like the person you're talking to, instead of like, letting you talk or instead like he might just steal the conversation away with him and the other person sort of thing and then you're just left out and you're you know what i'm talking about does that ever happen yeah like yes. it yeah, just yeah. drives me nuts that that sort of thing happens like he'll, he'll just oh you're not listening anymore okay i'll keep talking to this guy i'm just gonna ignore you until you're ready to play my game again yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's so hard also in, in group in groups of three or four already to just be able to talk. I mean, now I, in, in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I don't feel like last, last, but as soon as it's like four or five people, it's, I yeah. really don't know how to, I don't want to interrupt. I hate interrupting people, which happens. Right. I mean, it's normal in a group. And I mean, with two people, it's, it's easier, but like in, in large groups, it's very difficult. Wow. That's crazy. Well, I didn't, that's, I see so many similarities between uh, whatever my type ends up being and you. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, and so then, <clears throat> so we spoke about pretty much everything here. Um, is there like, uh, you wanted to talk about um, your, your business or something that you wanted to? <laughs> well, probably not yet. I'm still preparing, yeah. which is, still preparing, again, right? that, that, that's fit. That's fitting to blast last, right? It's, it's, a, yeah, it's um, IPs. Yeah. It, it's an endless preparing of, Things and not get started. Getting started is really important. Once once I have that momentum, I'm fine. But I guess that's the play that's helping. But right. to get started is really difficult. So so like your play world is is SF. Like how do you see that play out? The SF play world. Um, I notice it in so I'm, I'm playing table tennis um, okay. in a team, and okay. I notice that I really like the element. I mean, I like the combination of having this, I, I'm playing for myself, but at the same time for the team. And I hate it when people are not watching my matches. 
and I'm really attentive to my teammates and just trying to to support them. And I hate when I don't get that support, right. which is really strange because normally I don't really care. Right. I don't really. I'm very independent, but when I play, when I want to get that attention. So and right. that's like the SF, and it's really important. I check check the scores and everything uh, on a daily basis, and just figure out what could happen in the next matches. Will we get relegated? I'm playing in two teams at the moment. Even will we get relegated with the one? Will we get promoted with the other? And that's even like it's probably the only um, thing where I have like a tribal feeling still. Wow. I mean, apart from that, I mean, I don't really feel like a German or, or it's like I don't have, have any tribe association. It's really right. a, a desert. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, in table tennis, I totally have it. With my okay. Team. And that's probably the SF play coming out. How, how, how do you end up doing your, your sleeping, your sleep, uh, your meditation, your introspection? And mostly music. So um, my music taste is mostly sad, sad songs by females, and I just <laughs> process things by by listening to music an hour a day at least. And right. when I don't have that, when I have like two or three days without having that time to process, I go crazy and I notice, oh, I need to listen to sad songs for two or three hours now. <laughs> okay, and that's really cathartic, very helpful. Okay, yeah. and, and it's and it's like the second function for you. So, um, are you processing all of your consuming, or what are you doing when you're processing that? That's very hard to put into words. Right. Um, I don't know what happened. I mean, I thought about that before. It's very. It's really a meditative act when I listen to music. Everything gets. Pro it's like similar to sleeping. I mean, I love sleeping mostly because my brain is shutting up. It's the only time. Uh, I think so, and music. So it's like very unconscious. Like I don't know what happens, but you get so many insights. Um, right. Yeah, it's very hard to describe. I mean, that's probably just insights out of nowhere. That's probably just what I read about an eye somewhere. I don't know how to describe wow. it. Wow, that's really cool because it's like what you're talking about there in that sleep that's just coming out of nowhere for me. It's like active. Like that's what I'm actually when I'm sleeping. It's it doesn't feel like I'm just passive feels like I'm doing it like yeah I'm actually comparing these concepts and trying to see how they match and and really playing in it's it feels like I'm playing in sleep for some I don't know wow yeah wow oh yeah it's certainly more passive than me I'm just waiting for the insights to come to come oh okay all right yeah that's interesting not, it's not like that I want to want to force anything oh it could be interesting when we find out the modalities maybe your sleep is uh would it be double masculine then i don't know yeah but <laughs> we'll be interesting we should talk um, again once you know yeah yeah time. yeah for sure okay and then so so your um your blast do, do you you obviously have to blast some sometimes right like you have prepared information that you can give over so how, how does that come out is it just automatic it feels like you're just talking and you're watching yourself talk the most important thing is for me is competence so I have to feel really, really competent to be able to to just blast. I mean, yet now I feel like it's a very natural progress of this talk and everything. Right. So it probably doesn't look like I'm blast last, but that's only in in a very limited um, number of fields because I feel like I don't know enough. That's mostly right. what I feel like. Right. But like areas. you, you know yourself more than anyone in the world, so. <laughs> You, you have to be able to blast a little bit about, yeah. For yes, sure. but it's still hard to communicate. <laughs> right. So like if I were to ask you to talk about something that you didn't really know a lot about, we would see you just shut up and be like, let me think. <laughs> yes, <laughs> or like, um, like the, the normal talk in society about boring things. I would just, not only would I not know what to say, I would also be so bored that I would just shut down and go into my sleep world probably right think how yeah. stupid the tribe is which is, <laughs> which is probably the, a very ti thing to do I think. right yeah right. i don't thinking you're better <laughs> even though you're not you're not Are, do you have any like cool insights that you come up with that you want to share or that you um 
depends uh, in what context. <laughs> yeah, like a life um, lesson or <laughs> advice for someone. Um, advice. I would have to think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's where, right. that's where last last comes. Exactly. Comes yeah. Out because when when it gets general, then I start a life lesson. Um, probably. I don't know. It would be something cheesy now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but I, yeah. Sorry to put you on the spot like that. That's like the worst thing I could <laughs> that, do to you. No, that's, that's, that's probably a good, like that shows. Okay. Right. That's where, where blast shuts down. Right. Yeah. If you give a blast first, someone that opening door, they just won't they shut up. Prepared. I don't have anything prepared. Uh, <laughs> they'll be like, ah, oh, a general question. I can just talk for hours. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Open buffet. Yes. Cool, man. Yeah. It's really nice to finally get to talk to you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was really nice, really interesting. It's always good to just bounce bounce off. Yeah, for stuff. sure. We should do it again sometime and, um, and maybe yes. try to prepare something first <laughs> next time. <laughs> I don't know yes. how that'll go over. <laughs> but yeah. Yes, well, yeah, maybe when you have your time. I mean, it could be. I mean, I noticed now from the talk that there's probably lots of overlaps in our... Right, commonalities um, like that. Yeah, for sure, overlaps. Yes. Cool, man. Great stuff. So, right. like, is is there anything else that you wanted to mention about um, your type or about people OP in general? Um, we didn't talk about, or did we? I mean, I, um, the Facebook group. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, right. Well, uh, I didn't. Thank talk you for about that, by the way. I, it's really awesome that you um, opened that Facebook group like that. That's pretty yeah. cool. I, I really, I really like it. I mean, right. it's like it's it's weird to, and especially now that it's like six hundred people, it's still. Like it still doesn't need too many rules, which I find surprising. I mean, I don't like imposing rules, obviously, but it's not like that. There's problems happening. Um, right. Other I also think I there mean, are people there that, like, the tribe itself can impose rules because there's like a culture there that, that sort of, yeah, that's sort of growing. And I, I, it feels like if someone crosses this fe line that's out there, they'll they'll be like, yeah, some feedback, some punching going on <laughs> and yeah. many many facebook groups have these like community guidelines and it's like right. 10 points i don't like it obviously because i'm probably as e savior i don't like those rules but it's right. also i think people feel some people when they see that they feel like they now have to test the rules and if there are no rules people won't test them as much so that's my right. theory <laughs> okay <laughs> All right. So, well, so that that's okay. strange though, because like STs, I generally found that STs like rules and they like structure and things like that. Especially you're masculine, right? So, um, yeah. <laughs> well, um, it's yeah. Self-imposed rules you do, or I don't like rules in general. Yeah. Right. I don't like imposing them on others, and I don't like others imposing them on me. Right. And that's, I'm with you, man. <laughs> um, and that's, yeah, as he likes them. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What came up for me is like, it, I, I guess it depends more on type. I think right. ISTJs would be very much so. ISTP, right. due, due to the OE savior, is probably more open in that sense. I Maybe. Don't know. Yeah, okay. That's um, interesting. Uh, I'll get more of a feel for it when I talk to more ISTPs, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, Klaus. Awesome. So I'll, I'll, stop, I'll stop the video now and yeah. Okay. Um, all right, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>